Hello class, it's time for Poetry Unit Lesson 10. In Poetry Unit Lesson 10, we are going to introduce a new poetry tool. It's called Rhythm. And then we're also going to go over a new poetry form called a limerick. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the word rhythm before, okay? Uh, I'm sure you probably heard it in music class from Mrs. Densmore. When a song has rhythm, it flows. It has a beat to it, a predictable beat. Different um, types of music have different types of beats to them, okay? I'm sure if you pick any type of music that you listen to, there's a certain rhythm to it that has a flow, and it's predictable. And then the same with poetry. Poems can have rhythm as well. What you hear, when you hear rhythm in poems, you're hearing accented words and unaccented words, or, or accented syllables and unaccented syllables. And what I mean by that is when it's accented, the um, word will be louder and sound stronger. And when it's unaccented, it, the word will sound uh, softer and, and less strong, okay? Um, so anyway, let me read this poem by Robert Frost. I want you to listen very carefully to how it flows up and down and up and down and how you can hear the rhythm that he wrote out, okay? It's called Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. So I hope you could hear the rhythm there. It goes up and down and up and down. And, and different poems will have different rhythms. You might have up, 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 down, up, 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 down. You'll hear uh, different accented syllables and unaccented syllables. And as you uh, write your own poetry, you can have a certain pattern of a rhythm flow into your words. Okay? So, now, moving on to a limerick, I'm going to read an example of a limerick. A limerick is a very short poem. It's five lines long. Now, today you are going to be using rhyme as well, and we haven't really talked a lot about rhyme, uh, but you know that words that rhyme sound the same, right? Okay, so you have a rhyme scheme, and what a rhyme scheme is, basically, it's, it's a rhyme pattern. You have five lines, okay? The first and second line rhyme and they also rhyme with the fifth line. That's the last one here. So first and second lines rhyme, and then the fifth line rhymes with the first and second one. So first, second, fifth line all have rhyming words at the end, okay? And then your third and fourth line, those lines will rhyme as well. Now, what makes the rhythm in a limerick poem is the fact that the first and second line and the fifth line are usually much longer than the third and fourth line. Now, in your Google Classroom, under the Poetry Lesson Unit 10 uh, Google Doc, there is an example of the poem that I'm going to read to you now. It's by Edward Lear. Okay, So listen to how it flows. Okay, Hear the rhythm. There was an old man with a beard who said, it is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard. Did you hear how that flowed? Da 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 Okay, that's really, I know that sounds a little weird with me doing that, but that's how the rhythm works for that poem. Okay, that's how the author wrote that rhythm. And most limericks will have that same rhythm, rhythmic pattern. Okay, so let me read it one more time. Here we go. Here's rhythm in a limerick. And pay attention to the, to the rhyme scheme too. There was an old man with a beard 
who said, It is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nest in my beard. Okay, so again, uh, check out what a limerick is. It's five lines long. The first two lines and the last line rhyme, and the third and the fourth lines rhyme. Also, the first and the second and the last line are longer, and the third and the fourth line are shorter. Okay, so enjoy putting some rhythm into your poetry today as, as you make a limerick. And as we write more poems, also think about as you read your poem out loud, that is one of the best things that a poet can do. As you write your poetry, read it out loud. How does it sound? Is it creating a nice rhythmic pattern to it? Okay, it's a great tool for writing poetry, rhythm. All right, so make a great day and make a great limerick.